Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Marriott Rewards Premium Visa Credit Card Hello everyone, this is financial author Amit Don of AmitDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of Marriott Rewards Premium Visa Credit Card Unboxing and Brief Review. And the future of this credit card is not certain at this moment. I'll mention you more about this at the end of the review. I'm expecting this review to be about 15-20 minutes and before I start, I'd like to mention why you should watch my review or why this review is different than any other reviews you'll find online or on YouTube. I am one of the few persons who has 20 plus credit cards and I have 800 plus credit score. I'll provide you a link of another video in the description box below where you'll be able to see my credit score and I'm a financial author and I am one of the few persons who knows about travel rewards and credit card rewards and utilizing them I fly the world business class for paying very little and I stay in expensive hotels paying very little and if you subscribe to my channel in November I'll have a trip coming up uh, in Asia where I'll be flying business class on various airlines and I'll be staying in hotels and you'll be able to see everything so don't forget to subscribe on my channel and that trip is coming up in uh, November and another important uh, point I'd like to mention that most of the reviews you read or watch they're affiliated or paid by paid for by the credit card companies but but my reviews are always unbiased honest and non affiliated I do not offer any affiliated link or accept money from credit card companies and I will not try to sign up sign you up just to make money uh, from uh, credit card companies so you can be rest assured that what you're hearing and what uh, opinions you're getting are totally unbiased and these are for your best interest not the interest of credit card companies so let's start with the unboxing uh, before I mention anything i'd like to point out that if you do not know what is marriott rewards points or how marriott rewards points work or how spg rewards points works then this credit card is not for you however it doesn't mean that you cannot learn how marriott rewards points or how spg rewards points work and you can utilize the full benefits of the credit card so before you apply for this credit card or before even before you'd like to uh, get this credit card, learn about Marriott reverse point and SPG reverse points first, and then you'll be able to obtain the full benefits of these cards. Now, I'll go over some features of this card. Uh, there is going to be a flyer in there, so I'm not going to mention them right now uh, because it will be everything uh, in here. So I'll start and go ahead with the unboxing. So here is the envelope. So one thing I noticed that uh, the Marriott uh, Rewards Premium Visa credit card is issued by Chase Bank, which is an American bank. And uh, their credit card package is very light and there's not uh, much material inside it comparing to Canadian credit cards. And uh, they are loaded with the materials and brochures and flyers and leaflets. So this is a very minimalistic uh, envelope. So let's start with opening this one. So I'll take out the whole package and I'll set aside the envelope here. So this is the front uh, page once you take out everything from the envelope and the credit card is going to be in here. So I'll just set this aside for now. And then let's take a look at what we have here. So here we have just uh, some uh, information about uh, insurances this card provides. 
I would like to mention that this card actually doesn't provide good insurances uh, and among all other travel cards this probably has the lowest uh, insurances uh, but it should not be a concern because your sole purpose of this card uh, should be to utilize other benefits which are related to Marriott and Sheraton hotel chain okay so what we have here uh, certificate of insurance auto rental collision and loss damage insurance so this is one of the insurances this car this card provides and let me just go through it very quickly okay so it just talks about uh, these insurances and it doesn't look like this one actually comes with any other insurances okay so it doesn't have other travel insurances such as trip cancellation trip in interruption travel medical uh, lost luggage flight delay all sort of insurances so I'll just sit aside here and then we have another brochure uh, it just outlines the card member agreement by Chase Bank so this card is issued by Chase Bank which is an American bank and here are all the information usual information about uh, how interests are charged or what is late payment what is credit limit so I don't see any need to go through them so I'll just put it aside here so here we have a brochure and there's going to be some feature here which uh, you should pay attention because that's where the card comes very useful if you are able to utilize these features so let's start here okay so look at the rewards structure actually before I start anything uh, in the past Sheraton hotel chain and Marriott hotel chain used to be two separate entities however since Marriott bought Sheraton now you can use uh, sh this card uh, which is the Marriott uh, Rewards Premier Visa credit card and you can also use the SPG uh, Sheraton credit card and they are interchangeable in terms of uh, how you earn rewards and points and the benefits are interchangeable among these two uh, entities as well I'll talk about that a little bit later so let's go over here so you're earning five points for every one dollar you're spending at 4,000 Marriott locations worldwide you're earning two times points when you spend airline tickets directly with the airlines or car rental agencies and restaurants and for daily spending you'll be earning one points this is where the weakness of this card comes into play so you're for each dollar you're going to earn one Marriott point however if you have the SPG American Express credit card which is used to be the uh, Sheraton's credit card but now it's part of Marriott uh, which is right here so if you're using SPG card a star would prefer guest card for each dollar you're going to be earning one SPG point and then one SPG point actually translates or converts into three Marriott uh, points so let's say whether you are staying at Marriott or Sheraton uh, you can use this card or the Marriott card so for everyday spending let's say you are spending $1,000 doing groceries or buying anything online or anyway you are spending that $1,000 with this card which I'm holding in my hand SPG card you're going to earn 1,000 SPG points which actually converts into 3,000 Marriott points however if you're using the Marriott rewards card for daily spending uh, let's say you're spending $1,000 then you're just getting 1,000 Marriott points which translates in, into about 333 SPG points so for daily spending uh, there is no point uh, using Marriott Rewards Visa card but you're better off using SPG American Express card okay so I'll set it aside so now we have anniversary free night stay right here so this is one of the features uh, which makes the Marriott's uh, viewers card so attractive every anniversary night you will get a free hotel at the Marriott chain 
which has to be within category one to five. So depending on where in the world you live, if you know how to utilize this feature properly, you'll be able to get value easily for let's say $250, $300, because some of the category one to five hotels offered by Marriott can cost you $250 to $300, depending on country and location. And the credit card has a has an annual fee of $120. So you are easily offsetting the $120 annual fee just for this bonus, which uh, you are given year after year, every year on the anniversary date, just for holding this card. So this is why this card is so popular and attractive. Okay, so we'll move on to the next one. So here are some other features and over 4,000 Marriott properties worldwide with free nights starting at just 7,500 points. Now this card runs promotion from time to time and you can easily get 50,000 bonus points if you are able to catch one of those promotions. That means that you are going five free nights at Marriott category one to five easily. So that's a huge value just for having the card when they run the promotion of 50,000 points. But the usual bonus points when you first apply for this card is 30,000 points, which is not bad either. But I would recommend just to wait to get the 50,000 promotional points or even more, and then you'll be able to get a lot of value from those bonus points you're being given. And the first year annual fee is waived for this card. So we'll move on to the next page. So here we have elite status, you have it. So another good uh, feature of this card, this just for holding the card, you'll be given Marriott elite status, which is, uh, which you would have to earn staying 15 nights if you didn't have this card to get the status. So let's say one, you have this card, you will enjoy elite status and they will consider you in their system that you already spent 15 nights with Marriott and you're going to get, uh, I believe this is silver elite. Uh, yes, you silver elite status. So let's say you don't have card or nothing. You're gonna have to stay like 15 nights at Marriott to obtain silver elite status. You have this card and right away you're silver elite. Passing that 15 nights require uh, stay so that's another very good feature so once you have that uh, elite status you can match with Sheraton hotels because now they're both under Marriott and you will be able to get elite status at the Sheraton uh, hotel as well okay so now there are some other features uh, comp priority check out uh, and then you have some other features uh, Let's take a look at what we have here. No foreign currency transaction charges on international purchases. Okay, very important feature. This is the only travel credit card in Canada that do not charge foreign currency transaction. Other cards, other travel cards or most other cards in Canada will charge you 2.5% uh, foreign, foreign currency conversion charge and then they will actually charge you more on the foreign currency exchange. Usually they use markup foreign currency rate, which is going to be higher than the normal rate or usual rate. So they are actually ripping you off by charging a lot when you do foreign currency transactions. So the other benefit of holding this Marriott Rewards Visa uh, premium credit card is that you are getting the real foreign currency transaction without the foreign currency transaction fees. So if you are someone who travels a lot or who uh, buys online or visits USA, then you'll be able to save a lot of money just uh, for using this card. And actually it spills out here. Most other Canadian credit card companies charge 2.5% for foreign currency. And we do not. And another feature they have, which they're not mentioning here, that they do not charge you markup foreign currency conversion rate. Uh, so you're going to get the real rate, uh, which is used by MasterCard, uh, I'm sorry, Visa card, 
but let's see if you're using another travel credit card usually they bump up the rate or they use inflated rate to charge you more auto rental caution damage waiver emergency medical assistance now this is not emergency medical insurance this is just assistance so this card doesn't provide any emergency medical assistance okay so more benefits here we have emergency card replacement emergency cash replacement zero liability protection these are like your know, standard features for any card and then access to your reverse accounts account alert card member contact mario to your customer support okay so these are just standard features and then here we have some other features which i don't need to go through it and here is the end okay so now i'll go to the credit card and then i'll talk about a little more of the features fashion fees one anniversary free night every year and 15 credit nights to achieve elite status so all this thing so let's take out the credit card and on this side it's just all the usual thing uh, annual interest rate annual fees other fees i'll put it here and now here is the credit card this is how it looks like Marriott Rewards Premier Visa Credit Card. Okay, so I'll just wrap it up everything. So for everyday spending, this is not a good credit card because you're earning one point per dollar spent. However, if you're using this card, you're earning one SPG point per dollar spent, which converts into three Marriott points per dollar spent due to conversion rate from SPG to Marriott. So for each dollar, you're earning one point here. For each dollar, you're earning the same three points. So if you are using this for daily spending, then I'd recommend using uh, SPG, not Marriott. And then the main features again, you are getting elite status, you are getting no foreign currency conversion fee, plus uh, real or honest foreign currency exchange rate, they don't use inflated or uh, markup rate to rip you off. And then you have uh, bonus points. With bonus points, you're getting uh, five free nights or three free nights, depending on what type of bonus you're able to catch. And the other feature would be uh, you can have the same elite status at Sheraton hotel chains as well, because now Marriott uh, owns Sheraton. Okay, so I was, I was going to say that the future of this card is not known at this point. Since Marriott bought Sheraton, now they have two credit cards from the same chain. One is Marriott and one is SPG. And no one knows at this point what Marriott is going to do with their reverse program and with their credit cards. So there could be a few options, they, there could be a few things they might do. They might cancel the SPG American Express card and keep this card uh, because they have a uh, Marriott uh, has an uh, older relationship with Chase Bank and the SPG card was issued uh, through American Express by Sheraton so it makes sense for them to cancel the American Express uh, contract and stay with Marriott viewers contract so that's one option and another, th another thing they can do they cancel the Marriott uh, rewards visa card and keep the SPG star with preferred cards or convert this card to this card which I doubt it or another option they may have that they cancel both of these and they come into contract with another bank or they come into contract with uh, the, even the Chase bank to start a brand new card so at this point no one knows what's the what's going to happen in 2008 they're supposed to do this in uh, early or late 2008 to combine uh, SPG reverse program and Marriott reverse program and come up with only one card. So for now, you can keep this card, you can apply for this card and you can still enjoy all the benefits. And I have a feeling that if you hold this card, Marriott reverse premier visa card, 
uh, I believe uh, I have a feeling that this is just my guess that uh, they will be they'll convert it to their new credit card once they decide what to do with their rewards program and with their credit card so if they're keeping their Marriott uh, rewards uh, Chase credit card which is this one then you don't need to go through anything but let's say if they're uh, taking another bank to issue their credit card then I believe they will be they will give you the option to convert uh, this account into that with this card SPG uh, American Express credit card uh, I believe it's more chances that they are going to cancel this card and the, the account owner of this card may be given option to convert their card into another American Express card so but these are just my you know guess no one really knows at this point what happens but uh, it that doesn't uh, refrain you from applying for this card or holding this card to avoid foreign currency conversion fee and all other excellent benefit this card offers so I'll end this my uh, review right here so if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and I will be doing more credit card reviews and I have other reviews you can uh, go back to my older videos and watch and always my reviews are unbiased non-affiliated honest and I have your interest first I do not have uh, I do not offer this for credit card companies interest but if you're reading any other review or most other reviews on the internet usually their affiliated reviews are they're paid for by the credit card companies thank you for watching I'll see you shortly